Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Hey, Takiri Mike here, bringing you the first episode of our Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. Okay. As you can see here, I'm at Kerbal Space Command. So, just to kind of give you an idea, what I want to do is. I want to put up kind of like a, a Sputnik Let's move these over like a Sputnik equivalent so I have the antennas I'm putting um, batteries on the vehicle and I want to put uh, some solar panels let's see if I can succeed at I don't know what it is with trying to put one on the top, but it never seems to go too well. <laughs> I mean, to me that looks, oh, okay, that's not so bad. So, I'm looking to put this in orbit around Kerth. Uh, so, I need like the little decoupler right now. I'm going to add that guy. Um, this fuel tank. Uh, let's put the this engine. It's a vectoring engine, so I'll be able to like be able to steer the rocket when that one's burning. Uh, so I'll need decoupler. And I love that they added that recently, that it puts a shrouding around the engine. Once again, that's a, a vectoring engine. Um, let's put these guys. Oh, which one is it? No, oh, okay, it's this field. No. This engine, or this fuel tank, rather. Okay, these guys right here. Aeronautics. Let's get the nose cone on. Let's bring out the space tape. Zoom in here. Bam and bam. Oop. 
Move these winglets. Okay, let's adjust my staging. So now with this, my first stage, all three of these engines are going to fire. Um, I'm probably not going to have to push too much throttle to get it off the ground, which, which will be nice. Um, I'm just kind of hoping there's going to be enough fuel in this to get this guy into a pretty circular orbit. Um, so let's save this, actually. So this is going to be the Mark 1. Etonic. I just kind of realized I didn't put... I just kind of realized I didn't put uh, SAS on it. Um, it should be fine. View of Kerbal Space Center from orbit. Okay, I'm going to try two-thirds throttle and see what sort of uh, velocity that gives me. I'm going to turn the capsule's SAS on to try to keep it straight. And we'll see what happens from here. And so, everybody hold on to your butts. Launching in three, two, one, lift off. Okay, velocities going up pretty fast. I don't need it to go up that fast. SAS is not really helping me out here too much. So I think what I'll do is I'll try to fly manually. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm focusing quite a bit on where I am on the gimbal. Maybe about 10% fuel left in the pods. Five and a half kilometers up. Yeah, that SAS does nothing. All right, I'm going to increase throttle right now because we're going to lose those engines. There they go. So we're at the eight, nine. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more speed here. Okay, let's actually, you know, start increasing speed as opposed to reducing. Take a quick peek, see where my Apple Apps is. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we're going to lose that engine pretty soon. There it goes.
So right now, I'm just mostly focused on getting my Apple apps up above the atmosphere. Okay, I'm considered in orbit. So I'm looking to get it around 100, and I think that's that. Okay, around 50% fuel left. Yeah, pretty close. All right. Perhaps 50. Ninety four, one oh two. If I can actually pull that off, I will be very satisfied. Because that will be, for all intents and purposes, in regard to space, a perfectly circular orbit. So it wants a 32 second burn. I hope I got it in me. Okay, so 17 seconds. Trying to hold it here. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So, what I'm doing is the last, the last little bit. I'm doing a really controlled burn to try to. get it uh, as close to the projected orbit as possible. And as soon as we get down there, we're going to start this uh, blue marker is going to start moving around. Extend the antennas on the communication array. Fourteen point two meter per second delta V. 
Oh, that's gonna be like a quick, quick burst. Okay. So we're looking at pretty much 21 minutes. Um, let's run the dark side right now. So I'm going to end up keeping this fuel tank and engine for a little bit longer to get that that correction burn over at the apoapsis to try to get closer to a circularized orbit. So there's my marker. If I can get locked onto it, I'm not sure actually if the capsule's computer will be able to lock onto it. So this might actually be for naught. Okay, let's. Advanced time. That's doing a pretty decent job. Ten minutes, nine minutes, eight minutes, seven minutes. I'm going to drop it down to ten. I don't know. I find... Uh, for my computer, anyways, the... Advancing time. It generally doesn't really register. A lot of the times I hit the, the keys to bring it back to normal speed. So like, you know, whatever. I hit it like 10 times or something like that and it only registers two or three. But we're getting close now, so... I just want to make sure that... I don't overshoot it. Oh, there's that... What can we can only assume is an impact crater. All right. I don't know why I have RCS turned on, but... Because this ship has none. Seventeen seconds. I don't have an estimated burn time, although it is only fourteen point two meters per second. I'm gonna start. Try to follow this guy. Alright, let's get rid of this maneuver node. 116, 112, I'm I'm actually happy with that. Alright. So actually that works out well. So what I'm gonna do at this point is let's Point this in the direction. I'm not sure. Um, if using the decoupler really pushes you any, or if it like pushes back, 
I guess technically, if uh, there's any sort of per push, I mean, Newtonian physics would say that it's going to push against the other object as well. Okay, let's uh, decouple from the fuel in the engine. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, so I don't have the debris, is I'm actually going to end that flight right now. And I'm going to go to the tracking station. And I'm going to fly our little space probe here. Just let it load up. Now I'm not really sure if there's any particular orientation I should be trying to to keep with this guy. Um think what he's that would be south yeah I wonder if this would be the best way Zero sun exposure, that's zero as well. Almost full exposure there. So I suppose what we could do is let's uh, take a lap around the planet. Okay, so we're going to go on the night side. Maybe having it oriented towards the north is the proper way to do this. Yeah, that seems to be a pretty good orientation right there. Um, when it goes around, it looks like the solar panel has access to the sun, so it recharges the batteries on the ship. And it really seems to be locked in the northern orientation. So yeah. We have successfully... Uh, this looks like it's a little bit... Let's reduce that. I was going to say that looked a little choppy there. Um... So, yeah, we've successfully put up our first probe into space. It's, it's uh, transmitting its iconic beeps back down on Dick Earth. Hopefully inspiring the next generation of space explorers. But uh, that'll be something for the next episode, where we will try, we'll aim for the moon. 
maybe um, maybe put up another sort of Sputnik inspired like lunar impact. We'll try to we'll try to get one of these guys onto the lunar surface and uh, I mean if we're lucky maybe it'll survive long enough so that we can we can start sending some bing some signals back to Kerbal Space Command. But that will be something for the next episode. So if uh, you enjoyed the content that you've seen here in this video, please like and favorite. Uh, post a comment if you have any sort of constructive criticisms um, to help me improve my video and make it more enjoyable. Uh, if uh, you enjoy the content that, that you see on my channel, uh, feel free to subscribe. I can always use subscribers. And I hope to see you in the near future.